You know, were you blessed? Yeah. Amen. You know, it's really a blessing whenever we pour our hearts to the Lord in singing. Napakasarap po kumanta para sa Panginoon. You know, because it's reminding ourselves who our powerful God is. Amen? So tonight, you know, we will continue and will be the last part of our seven-part series of Why Am I a Christian? So, alam naman natin, no? we know already the, the answer to Why Am I a Christian? So, okay, just to, just to uh, briefly um, go back to the previous seven, uh, six preachings that we had. Uh, before, first we started off with why am I a Christian? I am a Christian because God wants me to be with Him in heaven. Heaven is real. Hell is real. So when we are asked, why are you a Christian? Because I want to be in heaven. I want to be in heaven with the Father. Next, do you love me? Feed my sheep. All of us, like Peter, has denied Jesus Christ. We have received grace, God's restoration power through Jesus Christ. His desire to restore people to Him is now passed on to us. Amen? So, you know, we know that heaven is real. So we should also, you know, let other people know that heaven is real. No, hindi lang tayo. Third, becoming like Christ. Do they see Jesus Christ in me? You know, our personal testimony is very important. You know, we cannot just say like what brother said about Ian earlier. He said this, he was touched. So all of us, not only brother Ian, are tasked to touch other people's lives, which we will also discuss again later. I, I am a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Authentic Christians are disciples of Jesus Christ. His life is our life. You know, disciple means power, uh, follower of. Hindi ko na masabing follower of. Follower of. Magagalit sa akin si, si Teacher Isa, yung aking accent. Transforming power of the word. We all need to be transformed first before we can transform others. You know, you cannot tell someone, don't do that if you're doing it. Amen? You cannot tell somebody, don't gossip, but you're gossiping. Believe, trust, and faith. How much of each do you have? To truly believe and trust God is essential for our living, loving God to grow our faith. Importante po yung may believe tayo, trust, and faith in the Lord. Essential. Essential siya. So, this was the, these were the six preachings that we had in the seven-part series of Why Am I a Christian? So, for those who have not uh, uh, attended yung mga series, it's all in our uh, YouTube channel. Amen? So, today, ito na yung last. This is the last part which we will talk about Go Grow and glow. Ako pa, nag-glow ata yung aking... Nag-glow yung noo ko. Our anchor verse will be coming from Acts 16, verse 25. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening to them. Let us pray first. Lord, we pray, Lord, Father God, for your anointing. First and foremost to me, O God, as I, I uh, speak your words. And anointing for all of us, O God, so that our hearts, O God, will be like a sponge, O God, that will be able to receive all your message today, O God. And I pray, Lord, Father God, that you give us 
very clear hearing today, O God, so that we'll be able to understand everything that you have prepared for each and every one of us. And I pray, Lord Father God, that Jesus Christ, O Lord, will increase in me while I decrease. And Lord, every words that will come out of my lips, every thoughts that I will be thinking of will only be coming from you, O Lord. And I pray, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O God, that for your purpose today will be accomplished in each and everyone's lives, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. And we love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading will be coming from where our anchor verse came from which is coming from Acts 16, 22 to 36. If you have your Bible with you or if you can read it, let's all read together. Napakasarap po ata magbasa ng Bible. So, let's start. Acts 16, 22 to 36. The crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas. And the magistrate ordered them to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison. And the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open, and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself, we are all here. The jailer called for lights, rushed in and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke in the word of the Lord to him and all the others in his house. At that, at that hour of the night, the jailer took them and washed their wounds. Then immediately, he and his, all his household were baptized. The jailer brought them into his house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God, he and his whole household. When it was daylight, the magistrates sent their officers to the jailer with the order, release those men. The jailer told Paul, the magistrates had ordered them that you and Silas be released. Now you can leave. Go in peace. What a powerful um, passage uh, in the Bible regarding Paul and Silas. No? But before I start with Paul and Silas, let me talk about go, grow, and glow. You know, whenever we hear this word, I can remember when I was still small. This is a popular, uh, popular, uh, parang slogan, I think, right? In fact, uh, it was uh, one of the popular commercial before regarding, I think, milk or vitamins. So I'm sure you are familiar to that also. They are also called, you know, food groups. No, dun sa mga medical. Uh, uh, may mga medical backgrounds here. Uh, these are groups of food that, you know, uh, allows us, you know, nutrients or something, you know, for certain body functions. Like yung, yung go fruits are, you know, helps us to, yeah, carbohydrates to, to help us run, jump, you know. Mga grains yan, di ba? Uh, grow foods are, ano ba yan? Dairy yan, no? dairy, protein. Helps us to grow big and strong. Glow foods are, I think, vegetables, no? Vegetable fruits that helps us, you know, to glow. Skin. No? Hindi <laughs> maging oily, no? Not oily, but to, to glow, no? You, you will see in one person's face kung ano siya, no? Properly nourished. Properly nourished, no? Well, this is true. This is true in physical food, di ba? We know that, that science, no? like uh, what JM have mentioned earlier, no? yung mga food groups na yun. 
While this is true in our in our physicality, our uh, physical food, uh, it's also true in our spiritual life. No, spiritual life, go grow and glow. No, but what's the root of go grow and glow in our life? What do we need? Compared to grow, grow, and glow in physical food, wherein you have different kinds of food, go, grow, glow in our spiritual life only points to one. And which is that? The Word. It's all about Jesus. It's all about His words to make us go, grow, and glow. You know, well, we know now the answer of why I'm a Christian. Tells us that, you know, we, we, we don't want to go to hell, but we want to go to heaven. But, you know, even, even the old people in the Old Testament, they know about that. Unfortunately, they have used uh, different ways of, you know, trying to reach heaven. Like um, certain religions now, you know, they do, uh, do different uh, 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 um, giving or uh, they do different uh, ways of worshiping, you know, just to, to think that they can reach heaven because of that. So that's why God, God allowed Jesus Christ to die for you and for me. That whoever believes in him and accept him as their Lord and their Savior will not perish and will have eternal life. And they're also given the right to be called children of God. Sabi mo, you are a child of God. Thus, we are going to, you know, going to heaven. Amen? Amen? Mer meron pa bang hindi sigurado? No? So, we should be sure that we're going to heaven. But, you know, it didn't only stop in our own salvation. Yes, okay, I'm saved. But okay, praise the Lord. I'm saved. I'm good. Uh, right, I can, I can die anytime. Because you're saved, no? I... I, I read one story about sa Titanic. No? Uh, I forgot the name, but siguro I'll just tell you the story. Short story lang. You know, this guy, so the Titanic is uh, going down. So, what he did, he, he is, he is a, a Christian missionary. So, he's going to, uh, to the, the U.S. to, uh, to lead the, a church there. So he's with his uh, daughter. So the Titanic's going down, so he sent his daughter to this uh, a boat with the children and women, and he said, unsaved. <laughs> so what, he had one uh, life jacket, and so when they went down, so he's just going around, swimming around, and asking anyone, are you saved? So if he's not saved, he will give his life jacket. So that guy will have a chance to be saved. No, I'm talking about saved, not saved of... Because he don't want that person to die without accepting Jesus. <laughs> so, he's going around and telling them, accept Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. So that's the last thing that he did until he died. He has confidence to die. <laughs> because he know that... He know where he's going. So, but it doesn't stop. You see, even in, in his last breath... Is thinking about another person. Why? Because that's the heart of God. That's the heart of God. That's the heart of Jesus. And it's mentioned in 2 Peter 3.9, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to, to, be, uh, to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So salvation of yourself is not enough. It doesn't stop there. Kaya nga sa English, no, dun sa yung mga American, American uh, praises, the buck doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop. So, we have to, to have that heart of God to reach out to others. And one of the greatest example 
of going, growing, and glowing is none other than Paul. One of the story. Actually, timing na timing yung pagkakanood namin ng Paul noong Wednesday. Really, uh, you will be moved by the life of Paul. In fact, yung Old Testament were mostly composed of Paul's letters uh, to the churches and his life, the Acts of the Apostle, which were chronicled by Luke. Luke the physician. You know, he started, Paul started Saul. He was called Saul before. No, Saul started wrong with the Lord. Why? Because he has religion. He doesn't have relationship. He was very passionate with the Lord. As probably most of us before, we are passionate. No, we go to church, lagi tayo nagsisimba. We always uh, give to the poor. We are passionate, but same like Paul, Saul. But he was also passionately wrong. Because as I mentioned, he doesn't have relationship with God. He has religion. May religion lang siya. I know most of us can relate to that. We came from there. I came from there. I thought I was doing the right thing only to find out that I was wrong. That's why it's important that you and I be a bridge, be a channel of blessing to those who think they are right but at the end, we're wrong. So, but when he had this personal encounter with Jesus, his life was changed. Amen? I know most of you knows that story, his personal encounter with Jesus. Why? Because he, he was really persecuting uh, the Christians. In fact, he asked for a license from the Pharisees so he can go and find and persecute them and put them to death. In fact, he's the one who also insinuated and pushed for Stephen to be stoned to death. Because he think that Stephen was committing blasphemy. So that's how he was passionate with the Lord. So, but everything was changed when he had accepted Jesus Christ. And everything was history. So from religious fanatic Marami yan, no? Marami yung religious fanatic, eh. No? To a true disciple of Jesus. Amen? Sino nakaka-relate doon? Who can relate to that? Who can relate to that? Religious fanatic. But now, a true disciple of Jesus. Probably, we're still work in progress. That's fine. We're going to talk about that later. Wala naman ditong perfect, eh. We still fall, fall down. That's why we need God's grace every moment of our life. So if we go to Paul's life, makikita natin we'll be able to, to, uh, to have you know, the best example of grow, go, grow, and glow in the Lord. Go, why go? Because he decided to walk with God. You know, he grew up as a, as, a, as, a, as a Pharisee. It's very hard to break that. In fact, in the, in the, uh, some of the Pharisees knows about Jesus. Knows about Jesus. They receive, uh, the high priest receive um, a, a prophecy that one person or one, somebody must die so that many will be saved. He know that. He knew that. Right? But still, it didn't stop him. He's just saying. But since he's the high priest, he cannot go against the other Pharisees in the Sanhedrin. But Paul is different. He decided to walk with God and share the good news to others. He even went from places to places. If you're going to read the book of Acts, 
you will see his travels. If you will read his letters, you will see his travels. Uh, not only because Paul was mainly going to the Gentiles, non-Jewish believers. So he, he's ministering to them. As I mentioned, Paul, in fact, literally went from one place to another. Grow. He went from religious to a person with relationship with God. From religious to a person with relationship with God. Even with trials and persecutions in, in his life, he held on. And this is what made him grow. You know, if you're, this is just one part of, you know, uh, Paul's uh, imprisonment, flogging. He also had uh, time with Barnabas also. So all throughout his ministry, he have received so many beatings, so many persecutions. In fact, at the end of his life, he was beheaded through the orders of Emperor uh, Nero because the burning of Rome was blamed to the Christians. So until the end of his life, he received death or he received persecution because he was jailed for a long time before he was put to death. But even without, with these things in his life, he continued to hold on. Actually, in the also in the in the in the Bible, uh, in the movie, na namin, the sobrang flogging sa kanya, he cannot already sit down properly. I think merong scientific or may medical ano yun, na pag like pinapalo, you're always getting flogged. It will affect your bones, no? But still, it didn't stop him to proclaim Jesus. To proclaim Jesus in his life and to others. And glow, because he held on, people sees what Jesus did in his life. Nag-glow kasi siya because he was growing. I, quote, I, quote, I will quote one line in the movie na napanood din namin. Sabi doon, we didn't see Christ. Because there's so many believers in Rome before that were being persecuted. They were being killed. You know, they were being burned in the cross. They are being crucified. And then they are being burned alive. Diba? Crucified na. Burned pa. So all of these are really, you know, down, discouraged. Some of them are thinking about revolting against the Romans. You know, but what this, uh, one of the guys said, we didn't walk with Jesus. We didn't see Christ. But with Paul, we see him. So the life of one person, and let's, let's, try, let's try to understand. Baka sabihin nyo naman, Si Paul yun eh. No, let's try to understand. Paul is a normal human being. The same as you and me. No, wala pong pinagkaiba si Paul sa atin. He also breeds. He eat three times a day. Mas marami pa nga tayo, di ba? We eat five times a day, six times a day. He works. He's a tent maker. Boring nga daw siya mag-preach eh. Kaya nga nahulog si, ano, si pangalan nun, si Eutychus. That's why Eutychus fell down kasi boring yung mag-preach si Paul eh. But, he, he was glowing. It gave encouragement to those believers who were persecuted in that time. So tayo rin, no? So true Christians are disciples of Christ. And when I say true, true. Kasi marami daw Christians, you know? True Christians mean you, you follow Jesus Christ. Are disciples of Christ. Follower of Christ. A disciple is a student and a follower of Jesus Christ. They go 
glow and grow. They go. G. Let me just read one passage from the Bible. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Then Jesus said to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth was given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So go. and ba go? So meron tayong acronym. Go, G, get things, first get things straight with God. Uh, we need to start with ourselves. We need to start with ourselves. Get straight with the Lord. If we still have issues with the Lord, make it straight with Him. You know, God, sabi mo kanina, He's very gracious. He wants everyone to go in repentance. He's not slow in keeping His promise. Ano ba yung promise niya? For those who are already saved to be collected and come up to heaven. No, sabi ng Lord, hindi, tika muna, marami pa eh. Grabe pa ang dami ng uh, uh, population ng Muslims dito sa mundo. There's so many people still believing in, in the trees. In Japan, they think that the lakes are enchanted, so you cannot take a bath there. Because they think that that lake is God. So there's still so many people, you know, believing in so many things. So for us, we need to get straight with God. We need to start with ourselves. We need to start with ourselves. Uh, by the way, I was asking myself before, Lord, uh, I'm not yet ready. Do I need to go? Because there's a command, no? Sabi ng Lord, go out. Make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit. You know, sometimes, and probably I have been guilty of that also before. You know, telling myself I'm not ready, so I will not go. I will just say, I'm, Lord, I'm, maybe I'm ready after 10 years. Right, Rose? Or telling myself na, no, there's still some other matured or... We have leaders, we have pastors, let them go. I'm okay. Maybe I'll take my time. I thought that also before, that I'm not ready. No, but, you know, God didn't ask you to be, are you ready or not? But God is telling us right now, you should go. And I will take care of the rest. Because when we say, I'm not ready, you're thinking about yourself. We're thinking about what we can do. Can I, can I talk? Can I open up with somebody? You know, in the bus, for example, can you speak about Jesus to someone? I remember Ivan, Ivan Charles, our, he's from Uganda also, right? Yeah. Ah, no, Cameroon, Cameroon. We ha I have one uh, Cameroonian who's attending to my life lesson. He's really bold. He's going there in Electra. And, speak, and he's really looking for a Muslim. <laughs> and he's speaking to him about Jesus. And that guy, I think Pakistani or another, what are you talking about? Why are you telling me like this? I don't believe that he's God, okay? He's a prophet. No, but he's really, he's really going to tell him, no, brother, you know, Jesus Christ is, <laughs> he's really like that. And we learned from him. So, we need to start ourselves with ourselves. Don't give yourself reasons that we cannot do it. You know, I'm not ready. I'm still young. I'm only 55 years old. <laughs> Amen? We need to start with ourselves first. Go right or get things straight with God. When I say straight, make things right with God. 
That's the first step of going. Oh, overcome low self-confidence and low self-esteem. We are children of God. Sabi mo, I am a child of God. We are children of God and we have the greatest news that the world needs. The salvation of their souls. You know, how far are we willing to go to bring souls to Christ? It's not about our education, hindi yung pinag-aralan natin, hindi yung uh, pera natin, hindi yung not, uh, what, not uh, our experience. Of course, you know, experience about life, you can share that to others, no? But what I'm trying to say is yung experience mo sa trabaho, no, it's not that, no? We need to overcome low self-confidence and low self-esteem. You know, sometimes, or most of the time, we forget who we are. We forget that we are a child of God. And we have a big God. No, hindi naman small yung God natin, no? Or our God is not contained in a, in a small place. So our God is present everywhere. Kahit saan tayo pumunta, our God can help us. You know, so forget about, you know, getting shy. Even sa ministry, sometimes nagtuturuan tayo, oh, pray ka na. Ikaw na. Ikaw na. Ha? Ba't ako, oh, laging, ba't ako? Ako na naman. Yeah. Norman, pag-pray mo na yung ano, food natin. Ba't ako? Laga, laga, no? Rose, mag-pray ka na nga. Or Rose, kakasapin mo yung ano, yung talk to the visitor. Now we have a visitor. Talk to him. Talk to her. Naiya ako eh. No? God will use all of us. Amen? Hindi dahil magaling ka magsalita. It's not about that. No? It's how you are willing to go and do exploits for the Lord. How far are we willing to go to bring souls to Jesus Christ? Ano yan eh? Passion yan eh. No? So that's what God wants from us. For us to be passionate to others also. For others. You know, whenever we see someone that have not yet, you know, received Jesus Christ, nag-awa tayo, di ba? That we want to, to share what we have. Amen. That's the heart of Jesus. That's the heart of God. So, wag tayo madamot. No? I'll be madamot sa English. Um, don't be, ah, selfishness nga pala yan. <laughs> selfishness. And, itong pinagusta ko, eh, no? We have the greatest news that the world needs. You're not just giving something you know, gossip or something. You, you, you are bringing. Kaya nga sabi sa Bible, blessed are those who brings the good news to the, to, to, to the nations, to the people. So, hindi lang kwentuhan lang, no? but we are bringing, you know, the greatest news this world needs right now. So, that's go. Next. Grow. By the way, just want to, to go back, to go. I, I remember, okay, just want to share something. I remember when I started a life lesson group in, uh, in Yas, Yas Island. We have uh, Filipino, Filipino drivers there. Those who drive uh, these uh, big trucks. Anong tawag doon yung umiikot? mixers and naglalagay ng uh, cement. You know, we have maybe around 30 to 40 uh, Philippines. Isang ano yun, worship service eh. So, I always go with Pastor Willie before he started it. So, I, I'm, I'm always going with him. Every, that's was, that was every morning. Maybe around 9 o'clock, we are already there. And, because we have service before in Chowking. Eh. So, after, before that, 
we'll go to that uh, place. Just near that uh, Ferrari world, there's a big accommodation there. Uh, one, uh, one big accommodation. So we're always going there. And Pastor Willie was conducting life lesson group. There. So we have around 30, you know, males there. Uh, so I I'm just going there because I'm the guitarist. I'm the guitar man. So, you know, Pastor Willie always likes to sing. Wherever he goes, he wants to sing. So I'm always bringing the guitar and, you know, accompanying him. So I was there just, you know, uh, you know just uh, uh, accompanying him in singing. So I, I didn't know that one day he will leave me there. <laughs> so one day he said, I cannot go, you go. So I said, are you sure you want me to go there? <laughs> Because I don't have any experience, uh, but I was, you know, I was a keen uh, listener, and I'm an observant person, so I'm always observing what he's doing. So I didn't know that one day he will, I will be able to use that being observant and being a keen listener. So he left me there. So I thought before I will say no. Stop, you know, di ako sure. Parang hindi ako makapag. Dami pa naman tanong don. So many questions. Bakit ganun? Bakit ulang? Why we... Uh, ano ba yung mga question? Uh, why is uh, the drinking not allowed? Why smoking? Bible it doesn't mention there that it's not allowed to smoke. It's not there. Liquor, madali eh. No? Gusto nakalagay doon, drunkard. <laughs> no, you'll go to hell. Eh. But ulang, no smoking. Eh? No, it's, it's very hard. For, but you know, praise the Lord because really... The, the wisdom of the Lord will guide. It's just you need to take that bold step. So I did that. So I stayed there. And uh, I think I was there for a long time. Uh, eventually, uh, uh, all of them went to other places, went to Qatar and, you know, some, some stopped attending. So from, I think, around 30 attendees, it dwindled into two. So, naging dalawa na lang. Only two were left. Uh, one of that person that was left is already our pastor here. He's the one pastoring Sharjah. And one is Brother Edward, who is now in Dubai also. Brother Edward is a former uh, former NPA. So, but praise the Lord, even though dalawa lang inatira, only two were left. But God really worked wonders on, in their lives. And I praise and thank God because uh, we continued. No, we continued. So it's just we need to really, I think about that, no? How far are we willing to go to bring souls to God? Next, grow. Just want to share one passage in 2 Peter 3, 17 to 18. Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, be on your guard so that you may be carried away may not be carried away by the errors of the lawless and fall from your secure position, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Jesus, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Second Peter 3, 17 to 18. God first before self or others. You know, this is a sign of maturity. Emotional maturity. You know, I myself before, I think about myself first. And probably I'm not unique. Probably some of us have been there also. You know, I think that uh, to give to others, I should get something in return. But this is not what God wants. You know, God first before others. So He wants us to look at Him first and be his first. And be first in our life. You know? Before self, so forget ourself. No, but I'm not saying forget to take a bath, forget to, to toothbrush. No, but, you know, die to ourself. Die to ourself. But let God be our life. Renew mindset. And what is really important in our lives? 
open our heart and minds to our need to be Christ-like and wake up every day with urgent sense of mission from God. Renew mindsets. We need to renew our mindsets and focus on God than ourselves. Focus then at, on others than ourselves. Think about others than ourselves. Tatanungin niyo ako, bakit naman ganun? Iba na lang ng iba. But this is what Jesus taught us. Jesus forget, forgotten who He is so that others may live. Amen? Kinalimutan niyo yung sarili niya para tayo ay masagip. You know, uh, as I, babalik ako dun sa emotional maturity and uh, uh, spiritual maturity. To be, to be emotional mature, uh, matured is to walk in the spirit. And to be spiritually matured is to walk like Jesus walk. So we all need to walk like Jesus walk. Importante po yun. But there is no shortcut to spiritual growth. Walang shortcut, di katulad ng Microsoft Excel. Control C, Control B, <laughs> Control X. <laughs> There's no shortcut to spiritual maturity or spiritual growth. It's not overnight. It's not automatic. No? Pagkatanggap mo ng, ano, ng, no, nagpa-accept, di ba? You accepted, no? Kinagabihan, ano ka na kagad, no? Pastor ka na kagad. <laughs> so it's not overnight, automatic, or quickly. But it's a process. We need to go through this thing called life to get matured, both spiritually and emotionally. Spiritually, because we have to walk with God. We have to walk with Jesus. So daily, as we walk with Him, He will reveal Himself to us. Malalaman natin, ay, ito pala yung tama. Ito pala yung sinasabi sa akin ng Panginoon. This is what God is telling me. This is how it should be. Not based anymore on what the world will tell you, but what God will tell you. So process. Hindi pwede yung, for example, ito ngayon, bading ka, no? Then, pagkatanggap mo, nababtize ka, lalaki ka na, lalaki na ako! Huwag tingin mo sa lalaki, bading ka pa rin pala. No, but, You know, it's a process and there's no shortcut because we grow. Like for example, the Bible tells us uh, that we are, when we first accepted God, accepted Jesus, we are like child. We are like children. We, we need uh, spiritual milk. Yeah? Milk muna tayo. Like, like a baby. Si baby desire. No? Kailangan niya pa ng milk. Everyday milk. Every minute milk. But as we grow, no, we, di ba, eh, oh, may uminom pa ba sa atin ng gatas ngayon? Baka wala na, di ba? Hmm? Milk tea. Milk tea na ang iniinom. Hindi na, karak tea na. No, but we, as we grow, we are moving to, uh, uh, you know, solid food. So it's a process that we need to go through. And this what makes us stronger. Like what Paul have went through. There's trials, there's sufferings, no, but it had made him more stronger. Open our hearts and minds to our need to be Christ-like. You know, we should not, we should not uh, be uh, uh, satisfied in what we have right now. Uh, meron question. There's always a, que there's a question that were given to us before when we were starting. Uh, every night before you go to sleep, you go to the mirror and ask yourself, am I a better person today than yesterday? Lagi nyo yung tatanungin yun. Hindi lang si Boy Abunda nagsasabi nun. Tanungin nyo rin yung sarili nyo. 
am I a better person today than yesterday? Try nyo yun. Try nyo. Daily. Bago kayo matulog, before you go to sleep. Because it, you'll be able to measure yun. Christ-likeness. christ like Nainis ba ako ngayon? Araw na ito. 23 hours na lang ako naiinis. Tomorrow, 22 hours na lang, yes! Eight hours ako nakikipag-debate sa aking mga kasamahan. Eight hours! Uh, tomorrow, di ba? Tinanong mo, oh, seven hours na lang. Uh, improvement, no? And wake up every day with an urgent sense of mission from God. Actually, this is what should all, we always should do. Every morning when you wake up, Lord, what's my assignment today? Who am I going to speak to today regarding you? Pray. Kahit hindi mo pa alam kung sino, even you don't know who is that person, pray to the Lord, Lord, send me. Who am I going to speak to today? Who am I going to bless to today? Sino bang ililibre ko ngayon? Ililibre ko ng milk tea. Wonder Ham. I'm going to buy him milk tea. Karak tea. May budget kang Wonder Ham every day. So wake up every day with an urgent. When I say urgent, parang wala nang bukas. You know, it's as if next, as if tomorrow, Jesus Christ will come. Because when Jesus Christ come, wala na po, tapos na. And will come. And there will be no chance for anyone. Yung ating families, siblings, children, parents, neighbors, cousins, wala nang chance. When Jesus Christ comes. So, always have that urgency. Urgency to reach out and share Jesus Christ to others. Amen. Amen. And finally, glow. glow. You are the light of Matthew 5, 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on the sand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So as we grow then we'll also glow. But how do we glow? G, go against the grain. What does that mean? Go against what is the norm. Like for example, in the office, ano ba yung norm? Oy, nag, uh, they gave uh, our stock of pencils and uh, no, pencils and ball pens. Normally, they will, ano yan, diba? they will give every month. Oh, ganda nitong ball pen na to, no? Pwede ito sa mga bata. Sama mo na na eraser. It's, it's a norm, di ba? You will, you will see that normally. It will say, uh, it's a small thing. Oh, paper clip, five pieces lang eh. Five pieces lang na uh, paper clip. But we should go against that. I'm not saying that Ano yun, ano yun yun? Hoy, magnanakaw ka! You are, you're stealing from the company! Sigaw mo yung mga nandun. You know? But what I'm trying to say is, you all go against what you're doing. In your, in your life. Huwag tayong makigaya. Don't do what you're doing. At pag inoferan ka, prosayin na lang to para, kasi ganun minsan, ano, sometimes, so that you will not be too guilty, you will share it. Bro, ito, maganda to, sa'yo na to. This is yours. You share, no? So that the guilt will be divided, di ba? 
O dalawa tayo. Lord, dalawa kami ha. It's not only me. Right? Go against the green. Like for example, in our flats, we are all living uh, uh, in, some of us are living in shared flats, di ba? So pag may inuman, when there is drinking spree, you know, what are we going to do? Are we going to, okay, tulang. <laughs> may nakatali na yung ano rito, at ikaw niya sumasayo eh. <laughs> Dalawa lang daw, no? Only two. But after 50 shots, <laughs> you're already the one buying. Pili ka ba? So, you know, go against what the world is telling us. Ito, na, 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 to, napakahirap nito. Love till it hurts. <laughs> oh. Sa romantic love, hindi pa pwede ito eh, no? Love till it hurts and people will not only hear it, but feel it. People will not remember what you told them, but they will never forget what you made them feel. You know, we can always tell good things. Ay, Rose, ang ganda mo. Sexy ka na ngayon. Galing sa ilong yan, Rose. <laughs> you know, but... You know... But we, we need to let them feel what we are telling. Hindi lang puro salita. It's not just, we you know, by saying. Action, di ba? Sabi nga, di ba? Action speaks louder than words. No? No, people will not remember what you told them, but they will never forget what you made them feel. I remember before, I, I have one story na, you know, there's one lady I think local lady, very angry in the morning. Maybe he didn't, she didn't uh, had her coffee. So she, she was very angry going out, shouting, shouting here and there and telling things. So there's one guy who just opened the door for her and greeted that, that, uh, that local lady. Good morning, how are you? I hope you have a good day today. You know, that words and, you know, the action uh, of, you know, opening the door for her have changed something. So instead of, you know, going through the day na ganun ang itsura niya, you know, he felt some, she felt something. Because she was scared for him, may nag-open ng door sa kanya. Hindi naman normal dito yun. It's not normal that, you know, you open doors for a woman. Maybe it will be a different thing for them. So, but love, what Love till it hurts, and people will not only hear it, but feel it. Love till it hurts. I'll bring love till it hurts because we're talking about unconditional love. You know, I'm sure most of the life lesson leaders here will be able to, will be able to relate to that. Amen? Because... I'm sure you all loved those who belong to your family. But sometimes, they have their own path, so they go out and they leave you. Uh, but it shouldn't stop us from, you know, from continuing. This thing should not make us bitter, but better. Amen? I'm, I know most of us were hurt by people. Jesus Christ was he was he was spit on he was uh, uh, betrayed he was betrayed by the person he loved sold for a price even Peter no? <laughs> Peter didn't didn't uh, sold him for a price, but he betrayed him by telling people he doesn't know him. Parang nakakano kaya yan, JM, di ba? Hindi ko kilala yan. Sino ba? Hindi ko kilala yan. Huh? I don't know that person. Por porket nagkakagulo na yun, no? I don't know him. So love till it hurts. And when you do that, you will glow. And people will see and feel that love. 
O, open your life to others. It's the only way to intimately relate with people. Um, ito, isa to sa napakahirap gawin. Especially when you have unforgiveness. Why? When you have unforgiveness? Because you have trust issues. So before you can do this, you really need to forgive unconditionally. No strings attached. Just really forgive that person. And forget. Because sometimes we forgive but don't forget. Sabihin nyo, ay, sige, pinapatawad, I'm forgiving you. But don't show your face to me, ha? Because I will slap you. Diba? So that's not forgiving. So that we'll be able to open our life to others. It's very important that we open our life to others. Hindi naman yung, you know, pinatira mo na sa bahay. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is, you know, you have to have, uh, merong tinuro sa atin si Pastor Willie before about intimacy. You know, intimacy. When we allow people to come to, into our life, that's one form of intimacy. That's one form of relationship whenever you open your life to others. Meaning, you let them know who you are. Not, not only in church. But, you know, that's why it's important. We ask you, uh, Brian and uh, uh, bro, where are you from? At least we know where you're from. That's the start. We need to know your names and we need to know who, uh, where you're from. So that when you join to a life lesson, then we can, you know, interact more and uh, be part of each other's life. Intimate. We need to be intimate because it builds relationship. You know, and here in our church family, by the way, we're not here because we have a church, there's a name. We have we have a we have a place to worship. No, we're here because we are a family. Even we call our, you know, like Bible studies, life groups, life lesson, family meetings. We don't call it Bible studies because these are small families. We we all we have it almost every day. And I think I believe most of us here are, maybe I can say ninety percent are part of a life lesson family. And we need to be. We cannot, just, we cannot grow just by attending every Friday. And finally, win souls and make people shine to brighten up this dark world. We need to win souls and replicate ourselves. Diba? I-replicate nyo yung mga sarili nyo. So that will become double and People, other people will also shine. It's not only you that is shining. Right? If in your office, grabe, stressful, uh, parang sinabi ni Charmaine kanina, 8 o'clock pa lang, uh, 9 o'clock pa lang, it's almost like uh, uh, 5 o'clock already. Grabe yun, no? Grabe yung feeling na yun. Ayoko nun. I don't like that. Haggard yun, di ba? How can you think? So if you have that kind of situation, duplicate yourself, di ba? If, if your colleagues are very hard to work with, you know, replicate yourself. Make them the same as you. Alam nyo, yung, 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 the life of a person, it's ano eh, nakakahawa yan. Nakakahawa yan. Kaya nga, di ba, merong, we call sometimes this, uh, if, pag may, if there's a fight, if there's a fight, if, if they are, they are all angry, you become angry also. Di ba? Nakakahawa kasi, no? But we're not like that, di ba? We are uh, not a thermometer anymore. We are thermostats. So thermostats are cool. 
If you're in 25 degrees, you stay at 25 degrees. Because thermo thermometer tends to go up when it's hot. Right? So that's what I'm saying. So wind souls and make people shine to brighten up this dark world. We need, sabi mo kanina, when I started, there's so many people still believing in so many things. Even in, the, in this story, what we talk about um, sa Acts, why they were jailed, si Paul and Silas? Because they casted away the devil or the bad spirit on the lady that is telling the future. No? May mga uhula eh, no? Or sorcerer ba ang tawag doon? So, na. Then, the, that's the slave female. So, the, uh, the masters, they got angry because they lost income eh. They lost income because they, uh, they, uh, they made the spirit go away. So, they lost the, the income. So, they sent uh, Paul and Silas to jail. So, people, there are still people that believe in so many things. Even up to our, you know, present generation. Sabi mo kanina sa Japan, eh, grabe. No? Yung lake, ano, enchanted. Grabe, ang ganda pa naman ng lake. Bawal maligo. Kasi daw, God yun. So, there's still. So, we, in this dark world, you know, God needs us. He wants us to populate. No? The, the entire world so that we can increase in numbers. Amen? So go, grow, and glow for the Lord. Meron po tayong task. We, uh, we have a great task at hand. But let's, let's not treat this as, as task. Let's, kasi minsan pag task, sinabi mong task, parang trabaho eh, no? Trabaho na nga ako ng ano eh. Six days, trabaho pa rin. No, this is because of our love for Jesus. We were saved for a purpose. No? Hindi lang para i-enjoy, not just to enjoy God's love. No? That's why we have ten nations. And by the way, uh, also we started in... Uh, Yung sinabi ni Jin kanina, we have also started the Life Lesson Group in UK. No? So, let's continue to pray that this Life Lesson Group will continue to grow and become a full-blown church family. Amen? The same way that happened in Kenya. It started with just a small group. But now we have a big church in Kenya. In fact, we need to move to another location so that, you know, they can start building, you know, a proper, a pro a proper church. Amen? So grow, grow, and glow. In closing, I have a story, a short story. In closing, why Gandhi didn't become a Christian? Do you know Gandhi? Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah. He's an Indian. <laughs> sino, sino, sino? Vice Gandhi. Vice Gandhi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Last na. Last na yan, ha? Last na yan. Okay. Mahatma Gandhi is an Indian Hindu. He is the one who have uh, started the peaceful revolution against the British. Uh, kung napanood yung pelikula niya, you will see that the British, in their, in their uh, revolution, or in their protest, pinapalo sila ng they're being beaten by the British soldiers, and they don't move. Ito yung inano niya eh. So, no violence. Mahat, this is Mahatma Gandhi. He's, he's uh, like... Uh, Jose Rizal in India. He's a hero. Mahatma Gandhi is one of the most respected leaders of modern history. Um, a Hindu, Gandhi nevertheless admired Jesus. Kahit Hindu siya, no? 
and often quoted from the Sermon on the Mount. Once when the missionary E. Stanley Jones met with Gandhi, he asked him, Mr. Gandhi, though you quote the words of Christ often, why is that you appear to so adamantly reject become, becoming his follower? Gandhi replied, Oh, I don't reject your Christian. <laughs> I love your Christ. It's just that so many of your Christians are so unlike your Christ. Apparently, Gandhi's rejection of Christianity grew out of an incident that happened when he was a young man practicing law in South Africa. He had become attracted to the Christian faith, had studied the Bible and the teachings of Jesus, and was so seriously exploring becoming a Christian. And so he decided to attend the church service. As he came up the steps of the large church where he, he intended to go, a white South African elder of the church barred his way at the door. Hinarang niya si Gandhi. Where do you think you're going, Kafir? The man asked Gandhi in a belligerent tone of voice. Gandhi replied, I'd like to attend worship here. The church elders snarled at him, there's no room for kafirs in this church. Get out of here or I'll have my assistants throw you down the steps. From that moment, Gandhi said, he decided to adopt what good he found in Christianity, but would never again consider becoming a Christian if it meant being part of the church. Ano alam niyo ba ng kafir? What does kafir means? In uh, in Africa, it's like telling like a black uh, person. So they thought Gandhi was a was an African, black African, because he was called kafir. So it 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 uh, uh, it placed in his heart the words of this man who have rejected him because of who he is, how he looked like. You know, naisip ko nga, probably if that guy have accepted Gandhi for who he is and ministered to him, probably there will be very, very less Hindus in India right now. So one small, we think, ah, small thing lang naman yun. Ah, hinarang mo lang naman sa pinto. Kung masak dito. You know, but it can, could have a great effect in India. Right? Because Indians look, of, look at Gandhi as a hero. He look at Gandhi, like what I've said earlier, like Jose Rizal in the Philippines. He's a hero in India. You know, if he became a Christian, probably the, the national, you know, faith, meaning the, the dominant faith in India now, is Christianity, not Hinduism. So all of us will have a great impact. You know, sometimes he thought that person is not important. Kaliwali, ano naman yan eh? some other maybe person or some other believer or some other Christian will minister to that person. But what if no one? Because that person is your assignment. And probably, kinabukasan na convert a person in, into another religion. So, there's always a sense of urgency in our life will have an impact to others. How we deal with others. And others should not continue to be others. Always think of someone that in the future, he will be part of your life. And he will also be family. In closing, or in challenge natin for tonight, 
go. Get things right with God and to bring and decide. You know, I, I, I'm always saying decide. Because you have to really decide and make a move to bring souls to Christ. Grow. Be matured emotionally and spirit, spiritually. We need to grow emotionally and spiritually. We cannot minister to others if, we are, if our life is still the same with them. I cannot forget one brother before was inviting someone to the Life Lesson family. It's still in choking. You know, brother, come with us in the Life Lesson meeting. That there, it's really fun. And, you know, we can share your life. We eat food, good food. You know, your tummy will become big. And then after that, come, huh? come with us. <laughs> and he blow, blows a smoke in the face of that guy. You think that guy will come? He will not come. He will, that guy will tell, that person will tell him, himself, you know, I, I'm not smoking. Maybe when I go to you, I'll become a smoker. <laughs> so be matured emotionally and spiritually. And finally, glow. Let your life shine. Not only your face because of oiliness, but let your life, the whole of you, shine so that others will be magnetized. Parang si Brother Ian, maraming na magnetized. And ask, they will start asking, what do you have? What do you have that I don't have? I have money, you don't have, but you are different. So they will start ask, asking, hi baby. They will start asking, what do you have? Amen? And I will leave you with that challenge. Go, grow, and glow. Hindi lamang po, go, grow, glow physically. More importantly, spiritually. And our memory verse, ito, command sa atin to. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, hindi yung therefore, no? Therefore, Go and make disciples of nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them, showing them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you to the very end of the age. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Sabi ng Panginoon, hindi lang invite. We need to make them disciples and teach them what you have learned. You know, let's, let's stop already from just inviting. But we should make disciples of who we are inviting. Hindi lang yung, oh, invite, pasa mo na. Oh, nandiyan naman si pastor. Pastor, kusapin niyo na para bumait yan. No? Tinapon eh, no? No, but he's your assignment. She is your assignment. It's not the assignment of the leader. No, why you invited that person? He is your assignment. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Are you blessed? You will be more blessed and doubly blessed if you're going to obey and implement na yung ating mga napag-usapan in your life. Again, I was moved by the word urgency. You know, let's not be complacent, but be aware that there's an urgency to reach out and touch lives. Amen. Tayo po ito mayo.